Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Welcome to vlog two. Brand new vlog. Today is... Cornwall vlog two that is. Cornwall vlog two. Today is Wednesday. Um, middle of the week. Halfway through our holiday now. Um, so we have today left. Thursday and Friday. I hope you all enjoyed the first vlog. Right. This vlog is going to include St Michael's Mount, but not today. Rain has literally sort of it stopped about ten minutes ago, and it's twenty five past eleven. It was raining so heavy, um, so we've had to wait till the rain stopped to go out today. But we are and going to head out in a minute. So the plan is today. Um, what we want to do, I'm going to go and get a nice coffee down by the harbour. I really like the little cafe down there. We're going to do that. They give me a lovely pot of milk. They do. They give you one of them little old-fashioned bottles, don't yeah. they, of milk? I need to also go back to Mountain Warehouse because um, the other day I bought us some fleeces and hoodies, etc. because basically that is all you need here. Take it from me. Um, and we got back and one of Atticus's hoodies had still got the security tag, security tag on it. <laughs> So we need to go back um get that sorted. I need to obviously pop... got the receipt. Yeah, obviously we've got the receipt. I need to pop to the little boots, um Is get a couple boots? of bits from the yeah, air. It's a tiny little boot. Also gonna get to the beach today because we wanna get some shells, don't we? This little bottle we wanna fill sand with. Um we got it from a gift shop and it says on it, this is sand from our favourite beach. So we wanna fill that with some sand. Um so that's today, we're just gonna hang about St. Ives, and tomorrow obviously we've got St. Michael's um. Mount. Um, and I mean, also as well for the outside, definitely. I want to look at the um, St. Ives Tate Gallery, which is up near one of the beaches. So I want to go and have a look at that. Summer holidays, we're going to go to the Eden Project. Yeah, we're going to go. Forest. Yeah, we're going to go to the Eden Project in the summer. So we're going to come back in the summer. An um, hour's drive from St. Ives, but St. Ives is just such a beautiful place. Beautiful. To stay. Yeah, it's really lovely. If you've never been to St. Ives, it's just lovely. I also like to go New Quay. Yeah. Just watch some yeah. surfers. But maybe have a go at surfing, maybe yeah. in the summer. I'll have a yes, go I'll have a go. Mama needs coffee. Shall we go? Yes. Let's go. Rain has stopped. Yes. Apparently this was the last bit of rain for the rest of the time that we're here. So from here now. I'm hoping weather. Till Saturday. Weather, no rain. It's called. It's telling the truth. Yeah, Yay. me too. Let's go. So this is the hill where we've been staying. Um, our apartment is just literally there. Way, yeah. We're back in the amusements for a little while. That's because he's on his favourite. Go on, Atticus. This one's better actually because it's a bit lower for him. See it? Oh, good. Well, just on this one, you've obviously got to get the 10p's on the duck or the mystery. Atticus just got it on a mystery. And uh, what do we think we've won? Two pounds so far. I think you'll have £4 in there. So for a 10p roll, well, 10p go, landed on the mystery, he got £4. Yay! Well done, Atticus. Big win, big win. The wind is actually dying down in St Ives. There's hardly any wind. I think we wow. We'll come back a bit later though.
it's about 20 to 3 now and we are back at the um loft because I asked his request and we need to rest his little legs didn't you we're gonna go um, back out at three we're gonna go back out at three to the beach um we've been here for 10 minutes we've, we've done an awful lot left. we've done an awful lot and um if you watched the vlog the first vlog you would have seen we were at land's end yesterday and that was like the air fresh air doesn't really cover it it was like whoosh, and it was like it's really whacked us out then but on the way back we went to our favorite bakery we did show this um bakery in the last vlog it's like a chain of cornish bakeries and it's, it's called basically cornish called bakery. it's called cornish bakery he just tried the punish shop puts from there in the last vlog and he said they were the best he's ever tasted i got i got punny shop puts and then we actually said to her, oh, you know, he, he likes your panic chocolates better than anywhere else ever tasted. So she said, she said, we import them from France, so that's why. And then I got for later, scone. massive plain scone, a pot of cream, a tiny pot and of jam. some strawberry jam. Um, so I'm going to have a cream tea, but I'm going to do it the Cornish way. To be honest, I always do it the Cornish way without realising. Apparently the Cornish way to do a scone is the jam way. first. And then the cream but i normally do that anyway i did try one of their cheese scones actually a couple of days ago and a scone they're just so good. good so good a scone is english. quite an english thing I don't know and then what this bakery do around um five five pm five. which we found out the other day they um all their pastries, so pasties, etc. will go down to 75p. So we're going to see if we can get back there um, at five and pick up some reduced pastries. What? Have a little rest and then we will head down to the beach, collect some shells um, and put some sand in our little um, sand bottle. What we've got. But the rain, you can feel the wind. If you watched vlog number one down below, you will see the wind every day was something else another level wind but it's completely dropped i mean obviously you still get that little bit of wind um yeah down by the harbour obviously um but nowhere near so that's completely dropped it's a lot warmer feels a lot milder so fingers crossed it's just going to be like this it's actually going to say um for any of you that don't know that are planning to come to st ives slash cornwall in general um any time that's basically not at the height of summer don't like worry about fashion don't worry about bringing because all you really need and to watch out for the bird poo you need lots of fleeces lots of layered things so you can to layer up and take obviously raincoats poo. caps umbrellas all of that also as well another thing which we will be doing in the summer when we come back is i will actually go to mountain warehouse and get us some proper walking boots slash walking trainers the Eden project is massive yeah you well. just don't need your high fashion trainers Wait. in for cornwall don't worry about fashion think practicality every Actually, time no. lots of fleeces lots of hoodies um you just want to be warm and comfortable yeah. you really do um i mean i haven't took my cap off since i've been here basically i've worn a cap every single day I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow morning before we go to St Michael's Mount because it needs washing. I haven't washed it since Saturday. So I might go with that cap tomorrow, we'll see. Um, but yeah, they're my tips. Also, watch out for the seagulls. Seagulls everywhere. Seagulls too. Hey. We've got like this little, I won't show you, but we've got like this um, rooftop garden here. Um, when we arrived, there was no like um, bird seagull mark. bird poo. There was none. Now... It is literally on the front door and obviously we've had no food out there at all but there is just bird poo basically surely they can't smell through the glass no no this is the kitchen it's everywhere it's literally so many seagulls really noisy seagulls yeah. i have discovered as well um but absolutely lovely place so we are going to have a little rest and then we are going to head to the beach beach So the tide's really coming in, so Atticus is doing footprints to measure 
yeah how long it's taking to get to each one so when we first come on the beach where was it it was near that sloop boat so it's coming in it's coming in pretty quick so yeah let's see how long it takes to get to that to there to that one yeah then there's how long more. do you let's reckon do how long okay. do you reckon do i think five minutes this one here probably we're going to head to the bakery now to see if we can get some of our reduced pasties, aren't we, Atticus? Reduced pastries, well, not, pastries. not pasties. I might get a pasty though. <sighs> Getting a bit chilly now. We got the goods, we got, got there wasn't loads I got left. Uh, there was no pad of chocolate, so I got a chocolate Atticus twist. got a chocolate twist, you I got, got two croissants and a coffee cake for three pounds. Yeah. Oh, and each one's pounds. normally two pounds something, yeah. so. They were 75 And they are just the best, seriously. If you come to Cornwall, just go tried, to the Cornish I Bakery. I haven't tried a chocolate twist anywhere. No, you'll love it. it. You'll love it. had dinner um i cooked here tonight which was nice and i'm finishing off with a cream tea yes i'm having a cream tea at night um i'm having this going what i got from the cornish Thank bakery you. earlier the cornish way everybody good night everybody and we will see, see you in the morning for st michael's mount st michael's mount see you tomorrow see you tomorrow bye So good morning. Good morning everyone. It is Thursday today um, and today we are heading to St Michael's St. Mount. St Michael's Mount. We're both very tired aren't we? Mm -hmm. We're feeling it, we're feeling it now. We've, we've got a plan, we're going to have 14 hours to sleep tonight. Yeah, we're going to bed six, really early about tonight, about 6, we? 7 o'clock to yeah. and we're going to get up at about 9am. Yeah, we're going to bed really early but we are going to St Michael's Mount. Um, so I'm going to get a coffee first at the ice cream and coffee shop. Um, you're going to have some milk mm. and then we'll actually, because Atticus, no, Atticus's little legs are so tired, we're going to yeah. get a taxi but up gonna to, walk back down. yeah, we're going to get, yeah, we're going to walk back down because it's downhill, but up it's uphill to the car, well, park the car. Yeah. So um, we're going to get a taxi up to the car and then walk back. So, um, I've got Coffee my new first. hoodie on. I've got my new hoodie on. Atticus got his new hoodie on. We're in the car. 10 miles, um, no, uh, 9.4 miles. Taxi was only a Starting fiver. To St. Um, Michael's Mount. Taxi Proceed was only... to Alexandra Road, then turn right. We will. Taxi was only a fiver up to um, the car. Like I said, I would have done it, but I think your little legs have had I'm it, and they, darling. Yeah. But we are going to walk back from the car back down to St. Ives, because that's all downhill when we get yeah. back. Um, our tickets aren't actually till 2 o'clock, but I'm, I feel they'll let us in early, because... I think we just well, need to get back spect early. I'm a bit spect skeptical about that. I think maybe we're going to go weather spoons tonight. Yeah, yeah. and we're going to get a very, very early night. Our last day tomorrow. I don't, I don't think it's gone too quick though. I don't think feel like no, it's gone too quick. Too it's quick. just had to wear a cap every single day. I thought, do you know what? I washed my hair this morning. I thought I might be able to go out with that cap. No, nah, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's just wind, constant wind. The wind's not as bad as it was, admittedly. Nowhere near as bad. Um, but it's, it, just windy. it's just windy and sort of damp. And that's how it is in, you know, that's just how it is, isn't it? So it's fine. So should we go to St. Michael's Mount? Apparently, my mum tells me St. Michael's Mount is a very spiritual place. And I was actually looking at 10 facts about St. Michael's Mount. Apparently, it's like the happiest place. Well, apparently talking of happy places, I actually read that St Ives is the happiest place to live in the UK. Wow. Apparently. Ah, oh, we didn't tell you. <laughs> oh my God. Yesterday, I got Atticus and ice cream along the harbour. Particular ice cream was £6.95. So not the cheapest ice cream. Anyway, so he's walking along eating his ice cream. Next thing you know, the seagull swoops down 
puts the flake in his mouth and tries to pull the flake out the ice cream so obviously Atticus couldn't eat it after that um so yeah that was an experience wasn't it Atticus I mean we know what the seagulls are like here anyway you know um but nothing like that had happened to us before it's like and I just I just don't trust them it's like we've got that little garden outside the flat and it's like I'd wash my hair this morning and even though it wasn't raining if you I went, went out, out with an umbrella if I went out into the garden I, I had an umbrella over me because I just don't trust them and I feel they're gonna they're gonna poop on my head and they'd especially poop on my head after I'd wash my hair I just don't trust them I love them but I don't trust them um so yeah you, you couldn't have no more your ice cream could you it swooped down didn't it it swooped it wanted that flake so what's that you have to be so careful the seagulls here let's head to st michael's oh, ready we stopped at uh morrison's. morrison's um the roads like the little back roads driving from st ives to we're about seven minutes away from st michael's mount so foggy like so so foggy um yes yeah, so we just stopped at morrison's first cold coffee of the year um not that it's like particularly hot out but you know it's going down nice um i picked up some trousers actually in there i never go in morrison's in my hometown i've got a massive one as well i know and i certainly never go to the clothes section mum our morrison's but, um, in wellingborough is massive yeah it is but i did get some um like khaki like linen linen thick linen like type trousers which were nice got you some extra socks didn't we yeah because even though i brought spares we're still running low on the socks because obviously we've been here for a whole week so we've got some more socks hello so i'm gonna have my coffee and then we're gonna drive to some michael's mount that's all right on the top if you can see it very yeah, misty yeah, yeah, we've got to climb all the way out there. Safely? As I, safely, as I said to Atticus, Does next time we so come in the summer, oh. we're having proper walking boots slash walking trainers. <sighs> Little play area over there. the map island map guide to the castle finding your way around the island hot drinks cakes and ice creams this is there the, we're english heritage it's english Her yeah we're english heritage but this is national trust and look you can see from where we've walked and yeah guess what did you get from the gift oh, shop like i bought atticus a land's end one the other day Which so out of his really own money Really well yeah, made. really well made. Really well made. This but is also really about really your own well many, you got yourself a Michael's Mount one, didn't it's you? It's really well made. Yeah, made. it's lovely. All the bears around here are really well made. They are. We haven't got long till we're going to look in the castle, so I'm going to get a cup of tea up here. And I'm going to have an look, ice you cream. see all the boats, look and see the wall. I'm going to get an ice cream. You can have an ice cream, aren't you? And today, the seagulls, there's, not, there's no seagulls now, around here, because if you notice. I've got a £5 note. Yeah. I've got 12 pound coins, two two pound coins, and loads of one p coins. I think yeah. I've, got, I've got a bit of two p's, haven't I? You have, darling. Atticus, the seagulls aren't going to take you. Yeah, there's no seagulls, if you notice. Well, hardly any. Hardly any. There are seagulls, obviously. Don't be silly, Judy. But, but hardly any. Okay, so we're beginning the climb to the castle. Atticus has got a castle trail. Apparently, there's three. Did she say there's three to find on the way up, I think? The rest are in the castle. The other. So yeah. Go on, careful. It is incredibly uneven. Uneven. It did when I booked the tickets. To be honest, it did. It did say how uneven the climb is. So. We'll see when we get up. I can see something—a trail bit from the bit what you've got to find, Atticus, up there.
someone's just pointed out. What about we? There's the heart. So, I've got the second. I've got the second one. You can do it. Cornwall flag, it's blue and a white bit. Yeah. But every county in England has a flag. I didn't know that to ask because just said actually. Yeah, like every region in France mm. does, every state in America does. Mm. Didn't know that. Yeah, it is. Is it? Oh, the Yes, it is, Atticus. Got his fourth one. Got the drum. Okay. She's there. Look, my grandfather used this room as his study until he retired from the island in 1974. It was very much his personal space tucked away as it's from the main private rooms. Oh my god. <laughs> She's breathtaking. Found the next oh, one. Only four more left. Which is the jug. Which is. Sofa over there, Queen Victoria sat on that sofa. Yeah. Now found the next one, which is this. The bits of sage that are laying everywhere on like different seats and benches, because obviously it's still a family home, so it's the family's way of saying like to the public, obviously, please don't sit here. That's what it is, it's sage, but the family have laid there. Queen Victoria's footprints when she visited St Michael's house. Apparently her foot was tiny, so we'll have a look. And then the Queen's and Prince Charles's, well King Charles now and Camilla's um, footprints are up there. But St Michael's Mount, well worth a visit. As you said to Atticus, when we come back in the summer, um, I will actually... We're going to go Eden Project and I'll actually come back here because I loved it. Victoria visited here in 1846. There. Look how small her feet are. Queen Victoria's footprints. Queen's and Philip's footprints. 
for when they visit it. Here's a look, Queen got the same size shoe. Actually, no, hers are a bit smaller. Queen had a bit smaller feet than me, look. And there's Phillips. workers just said to one of the people that was trying to get onto the bit they said you you can't because the um this is all going to be flooded. it's all going to be flooded because Look, it's so close. this was beach Look, when we walked up little rocks all rocks yeah Look at Look, that. oh god so it's going to come up soon yeah they come all over this causeway we'll just and there's people it. still think walking up there but luckily that but i think that's good that they have someone there to say you can't yeah that's because right. it's not You'd be stuck because the boats aren't running today. Look, it's coming onto the course a bit. Oh, quick, come on, it's the water's coming up. Come on, Atticus, quick. Look, you see the water's starting look, to come up. Go. Oh, God, she was right. Go. Oh, God, it's coming up. Oh, God, it's coming up. Oh, look, it's coming up. Let's be quick, Atticus. Now we've got time. It's coming. coming. Good morning. Good morning everyone. <laughs> it's Friday, you know what that means? It's our last day in Cornwall. Very unfortunately. And it's blue skies. It's totally blue skies on our last day. No rain forecast today. Take it very easy today. We're gonna to spend the day, well, we're gonna get back to um, the loft pretty early because obviously I've got to pack and everything. So first thing, I'm gonna go and get a flat white at my favorite little cafe I found here. It's right on the harbor and it's such a lovely view over the harbor. And of course, great coffee. Um, I want to get a picture of St. Ives to take home. And my mum, a couple of Cornish pasties to take home with us. I think I'm going to have another one today as well. I'm going to try one. You're going to try one, aren't you? You're going to try a bit of mine. Then if you like it, we'll get you one because we yeah. don't want to waste it. Um, you want to go to the amusements, get your prizes for your yeah. tickets and try and win some more money. Yeah. Um, and then we will pop on to the beach last of all. This has been my favourite um, cafe in St Ives because look, I mean the day is just, why couldn't it have been this weather every day, but yeah. So look, great coffee, look at that flat white, Atticus has his milk in a little like, I'm going to get him some of these for at home, I think yeah. they'll do them on Amazon, these little like old fashioned milk bottles. And then um, look, look at the view, look. This has been like the best weather today, isn't it Atticus? There's no wind. The day we've been to St Ives, Monday was pretty good as well, so was Tuesday yeah. and then. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday was okay, it wasn't quite yeah. raining. I think the worst day was Wednesday. Yeah, but it hasn't been too bad. It hasn't been too bad. He beat the highest score earlier. You got 120, didn't you, Ashes? Yeah. It's 
time for lunch. We're in this really cute little, I think it's called, um, we came here the other day, it's called Sky's Diner. And the other day I wanted a Cornish crab sandwich, but they were out of crab. But they actually have some today. So I'm gonna have a Cornish crab sandwich, which I'm very, very excited about. Here is my Cornish white crab sandwich. Elite. And a packet of sea salt and balsamic vinegar crisps. Yummy. Bit later now, so we're actually walking up to look at um, the Tate Gallery in St. Ives. We're we're not going next time. Yeah, we're not going to go inside today. But, we're going to leave um, it till the next time. Look at it from the outside now. Anyway, we haven't walked up here before. It's a very, very steep hill. I just love the design of it. So next time we'll go inside. Just imagine That's having a flat cold. next to it. <laughs> it does. I love the design of it. It's quite, it's pretty art deco. Bit down here, just this particular bit here is giving me Ibiza vibes. Yeah. Because it's such a sunny day, I guess. and. The white. The white. Yeah. White, yeah, it? it's really giving me. Yeah, it's really giving me. Like it's the white aisle. Yeah. Look. Wow. So many little like cottages down here that you can rent. Some um, little pictures, paintings. I got Smeaton's Pier because that's my favourite. Yeah, favorite. of our favourite bits in St Ives. That's because got Smeaton's Pier, and I've got a couple of. Um, you got two little ones. Ones that I like, scenic ones, which I love. So I'll show you when we get home. It's a lovely shop. So last view of the harbour. Say bye, harbour, oh, until summer. summer. And we've got a small. I um, haven't tried one yet. So Ashkis hasn't tried try one, so we've got a small traditional pasty. He's going to try a bit, aren't you? And if you like to, you can have a whole one. It is time to end the Cornwall vlogs. It's Friday night, it's nearly quarter to six. We are leaving. Cornwall at six in the morning we've booked a taxi to take us up to obviously the rugby club and get in the car and travel back to Northamptonshire so really sad very very sad Northamptonshire is nice but I love yeah it's been, it's been lovely hasn't it 
you've absolutely loved it haven't you yeah. you know wonderful holiday actually i would say probably one of the best definitely we've ever had. one million percent um we've been really lucky with the weather although today was the only day that it was like proper proper sunny was good. and blue sky was sunny yeah but with the wind was really bad at the beginning we had the storm land's end was sunny oh yeah um, we had that storm over the week we had that storm but it's always rem remained dry enough for us to do what we wanted to do if you know what i mean and it was I watch vlog number one you can watch that below that was um last saturday traveling down here you got a load of travel in that. land's end is in that one um, and in this one and then you've already seen st michael's yeah. mount so i hope you've enjoyed watching them yeah. as much as we have enjoyed so being, here. being here and go creating them we are now off to Weatherspoons across the road i'm gonna um, have steak and chips that's because he's having steak and chips to have our last bit of dinner as the um, french say steak so fritz steak and fritz and then i shall come back and i shall start packing before i go also as well coming up not sure when it will be but i've been thinking um i'm gonna be in it you're gonna do your little segment as well aren't you i think i'm gonna do like a um i'm gonna do like a cornwall review and haul tips um and things haul. i've like you know right. learned through being here what i do different next time like tips etc and, and i'll haul. also do a haul look out for that coming soon and we will see you very very soon, soon for another video bye, bye.